Nice. Oh, it's still nice and cold. I'm going to set up the tarp now, guys. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to try and do it like a tent. I've got the DD hammock. Uh, which is the DD tarp 3x3 three three. multi cam. I've got a bivy bag in there, British Army bivy bag. Um, I just bought that. I went up a shop in. Where is it now? God knows, I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> it was obviously an army surplus store. And um, yeah. So I'll bring you back when it's up, guys. So nice sleeping quarters, guys. The ground's very uh, uneven here. I found a uh, bit of a flat spot so I can lie flat. Top tent. The doors here then, all I would do when I go to bed, I'll obviously um, take the paracord off there, it just slips off. And then between this one and the one on the other side, I'll just put a carabiner. Not bad for first attempt. <laughs> Let's take you inside guys. Yeah, look at that. Bags of room. You could fit two people in there. Uh, easy. And all your gear. Um, I've got a British Army Gore-Tex poncho. And I'll use that as a ground sheet. And then put my bivy bag on top. And then inside the bivy bag, I'll put my uh, sleeping mat and my sleeping bag. Yeah. Tidy. Great for a summer camp. Doesn't quite look like it did on the YouTube channel I saw, but <laughs> you know, first go guys. I didn't practice in the garden like I normally do. It's kind of a bit of a last minute wild camp. So yeah, feel a little bit skew if. But uh, it'll do me. That's the poncho I bought, guys. I know I've got a bivy bag, but I'm just going to use that as a grain sheet. A uh, bit more insulation from the ground. Just put my kit in there out of the way. And uh, yeah, I'm going to crack up one another beer now. And enjoy the views. Well, I bought some new uh, kit, guys. I got this um, Duracell power bank. I'll tell you what, it's phenomenal. Um, it was sixty-nine pound from Argos. Yeah, it's really good. We took this to North Wales the other week, and me and my boy. And uh, basically, it uh, kept everything charged all weekend. Yeah, cracking. Also, I have bought this. I'll just get it out of the bag a minute. Uh, just for boiling water, it's nice and light. You can hang it above the fire. Um, I presume then, let me tip all the contents out. I presume then, um, you can also use it as a cup. Yeah, nice little bit of kit. Move this garbage out the way. It's all my fire light and stuff. I also bought this. Uh, it's like, a, it goes around your waist, but I attached it to my pack. And I just got my uh, GoPro in there, which 
charging lead. Uh, my head torch is on. Let's turn that off. Yeah, my little knife. Yeah, that was all my stuff, um, like the neckerchief thing, keep the warm charging lead. Uh, I'm opening this in yet, there should be. There it is. My petzl head torch. Uh, oh, I've got to charge this battery, guys. I'll put this on charge now. Yeah, the, um, this petzl head torch, I've got about a while now. It's uh, it's a cracking piece of kit. I've got a little rechargeable battery. Yeah, it's really good. So, that should be charging. It's a little light to come on on there. There it is. Charging. And also, it's in my packet, I haven't got it out. I've got one of those long uh, titanium spoons. I brought my little OEX burner for tonight's camp. It just obviously fold out like that guys, you know the routine. Yeah. Bottle of gas, MSR gas, and then just the little stand to sit the gas on. And I'm gonna boil my water in here. Um I brought my frying pan as well, my small frying pan. I got steak on me guys. Yeah, it's nice to be out. Loving it. Uh what else have I bought new? Let's have a look in a minute. I think that's it guys, for the new stuff. I was giving this off my mate Craig. You know, it's always good to have a spare head torch. You know, it's quite bright. You know, I mean, it's not as good as the petrol, but the petrol was quite expensive. But the good thing with this petrol is, let me open it up. Uh, there. You can use the rechargeable battery or you can just put standard um, triple A's in there. So if you have a chargeable one goes flat, uh, you can just put standard batteries in there, guys. I am actually gonna get another one of those uh, rechargeable ones. I just forgot to be honest. Use your gear, got my knife. Uh, Bivy bag is obviously still in uh, my rucksack at the minute. Yeah. I'm waiting to try this out. I got it so uh, when I do my next camp, I'm gonna go into a woodland. And I'll have a bit of a fire going and then obviously I can just boil water like that. Yeah, I always bring this guys. Ferro rod, there's a bottle open on there as well. Lighters. Fire Dragon, green and clean, solid fuel. Uh, this is just in case it's damp and I'm struggling to get a fire going. Hi. So, uh, I'm going to enjoy another beer, guys. And relax. A half hour, maybe an hour, and I'm going to get my steak on the go then. See you in a bit. We've got for tea tonight, guys. Ribeye steak, some mini wraps, an onion. Got a couple of snacks there. And then we got um, Captain Morgan, rum and cola for later. Or Captain Morgan earlier. There one guys, it smells banging. Boiling some water to make a brew. My new uh, 
pot stroke cup, which is that spoon I bought. Just on the lays in the tank, guys. Uh, yeah, just chilling out. It's still quite light. It is now quarter to nine. Yeah. You know what lazy get. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's uh, half past four in the morning, I think the sun is due to start rising ten to five, so I've got the camera out there ready, yeah, time to smash a brew on, pay paid to this bivvy bag. It uh, traps the heat. God, it was nice and warm last night. Fair shout. Had a cracking night's sleep. Guys, leave no trace. Bagged and got all my rubbish on me. Beautiful morning. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the car. <laughs> 